Show your support. Join the discussion in the comments. Hello, I am That British Guy. And last Friday, I went to see the film Fighting With My Family, the film based on the Superstar page that was written and directed by Stephen Merchant with The Rock acting as executive producer. Now, the first thing to say about this film is that it is a film a piece of drama. Yes, it is based on someone's actual life and there are moments and events from her life that are obviously replicated within the film, but this isn't an historically accurate version of events telling every single moment through her professional career right up to the moment when she first won the Divas Championship. So if you go into it expecting beat for beat everything that happened to Paige the wrestler to be in this film in exactly the same way, unfortunately you are going to be disappointed. Of course, this film is, as I have said, just that, a film, and there is no way you can get in a two hour span everything that would need to be told in order to accurately tell you the story of Paige. But what is interesting is they kind of don't really try to tell the story of just Paige. As the name of the film suggests, Fighting With My Family, the story here is actually of the entire Knight family, not just Paige. And the story they tell of how essentially they kind of all need each other in order to function, if that's the right word, because they come from this bizarre world of wrestling that nobody else really understands but they all understand it and they understand each other and who they are and who each other is within that family and it's a really really nice story that is told within that obviously at one point Paige goes off because she is signed and goes off to America and that kind of splits up the dynamic between herself and her brother Zach who also went to the same tryout as her and was unsuccessful and that kind of breaking up of the siblings really kind of shows how the family is a jigsaw piece and needs all the pieces of the jigsaw to kind of fit together nicely. And removing that one not only isolates her and kind of shows her personal vulnerability, but it also, at least within the film, really sends Zack kind of spiralling because he not only didn't get his dream, but he is having to cope with the fact that his sister got his and her dream. So while obviously there is a part of him that is happy for her, there is a part of him that is insanely jealous with the fact that she got their dream and he didn't. And later on in the film, he is desperately trying to find his own way back in again and is seemingly coming into a brick wall again and again and again. And that, for me, was heartbreaking to watch, but was so well told and acted and written and performed within those few scenes. It's a really nice kind of sub-story that's going on and one that kind of wasn't overly explained in all the trailers and all the promo work that's been going on. It's all been focused on Paige and not the other members of the family. Now obviously with this being a film about Paige as a wrestler there is plenty of wrestling content within it but it never tries to kind of dominate what's going on. There are a few kind of training scenes here and there and a few matches both in a WWE ring that was actually shot in front of a live raw crowd but also a few bits and pieces filmed back over in England to represent the small Norwich based wrestling association that Paige and her family have kind of built up. And what is quite nice is the fact that they show to the audience and to the uninitiated especially that this is essentially a choreographed piece of dance that both people need to be completely focused and engaged with in order to perform it successfully for the crowd and to also keep each other safe. So it's not undermining the fact that it is all fake in fact, there are a couple of parents that are included within the film that kind of call out what wrestling is, and that's kind of put to bed quite early. 
but what it does do is explain that it is all kind of planned and scripted and a means to an end and not an actual real life fight. However, what I will say is, is quite curious, the end match where she actually wins the belt is kind of told in a bit of a real shoot way. Um, that kind of threw me a little bit, almost like her as the character was surprised that she won. And I know obviously that that would have been playing up to the crowd slightly, but the way that it's shot and the way that it's structured and the way that it harks back to earlier events in the film where she kind of chokes in front of an audience, it kind of threw me a little bit because it made it seem like she wasn't meant to win even though she did win. But to be honest that is probably my only major gripe with the film. Yes it isn't an exact reenactment of her career but I never went in assuming that it would be. What I kind of did go in assuming that it might be, especially with some of the troubles that Paige has had in the last couple of years before her eventual retirement last year, was I thought that WWE might use this to kind of self-promote, but they as an organisation, although their kind of branding is everywhere within this film, it does take a kind of a, a back seat with everything and it pushes Paige and the rest of the family right to the forefront of the film, which I was very, very pleased to see. So, historical inaccuracies aside, what did I actually think of it overall? Personally, I really, really liked the way the story was told. I didn't know too much about the family and about Paige really before what she had done in America, so seeing those kind of uh, scenes and elements play out in front of me was quite nice to see and has actually made me kind of want to research that a bit more in detail in my kind of own personal time and kind of with a bit more kind of detail and accuracy. For me Florence Pugh was amazing but the kind of standout character had to be Nick Frost. This is definitely one of the best things he has done in recent memory kind of stole the show in my eyes but didn't kind of overcast everything else and because the wrestling kind of takes a back seat and puts the human element to the forefront it makes this film accessible for everyone which I think is essential in what they were trying to do because otherwise you do alienate a huge percentage of people that would want to go and see a film like this after all, Rocky is still one of the most popular sporting films, but the vast majority of people that have watched it aren't necessarily boxing fans. Yes, a portion of them are, but I would probably argue that the vast majority of people that have seen it wouldn't class themselves as boxing fans, and that is what is going to happen with this film, I feel. The vast majority of people that go and see it and enjoy it and can kind of take something away from it are not going to be wrestling fans. And as long as the wrestling fans that go and see it go and see it as a piece of cinema, then I think there is enough there for them to take away and enjoy as well. There we go, they were my thoughts on fighting with my family. If you have seen the film, please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Till next time, I have been that British guy and I will see you very soon. Goodbye. <laughs>